Hey everyone, Hannah's here. Welcome back to my series of speaking part one. In today's lesson, I'll give you some sample answers and vocabulary of the topic coffee and tea. Before we move on to the answers and some questions, let's learn some tips that can help you to practice at home. First, listen carefully my answer. Second, take note some useful vocabulary or ideas or some grammar in your notebook. Third, learn the ideas in your own language, Vietnamese for example. Fourth, practice speaking by translating the ideas you have in your head into English and then compare those with my answers to improve the way to press the ideas. And my advice is not to learn by heart the answers in English first if you don't remember the ideas in English. As if you learn it by heart, your speech may not be smooth if you just forget some ideas or words. And the examiner will notice that you remember the answer and don't speak naturally from your head, so you will be marked down. And finally, in order to improve your pronunciation and intonation, you can imitate the way I speak, if you like, and then record yourself. Okay, are you ready? Now, let's get started. The first question, are tea and coffee popular in your country? Well, on the whole, yes, tea and coffee are widely consumed in Vietnam as they have become a part of modern culture. Vietnam is also famous for the quality of tea and coffee, so that's why we are considered a nation of tea and coffee drinkers. Second question, do you like coffee and tea? Well, I'm not much of a coffee drinker as coffee tastes quite bitter and coarse dependence. In fact, I'm more of a tea drinker as tea has the same effect as coffee, but it can energize and detox my body without caffeine. The third question, do you often drink coffee and tea? Well, I drink coffee with milk once in a blue moon as I don't like the bitter taste of coffee and it causes dependence. However, when it comes to tea, I have to say I always have a hot cup of tea every morning as it provides me with energy and helps boost my immune system. Besides, it's also delicious and healthy with nutrients and antioxidants. Fourth, do you usually offer tea and coffee when you have guests? Yes, offering guests tea and coffee is a ritual in my country. It's a way to show our hospitality to guests. They have been a part of our culture for hundreds of years. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get my newest lessons every single week by clicking on the share and like button or even leaving a comment. Don't forget to review all the topics I have prepared for you. Goodbye and I'll see you next time.